This is Renee from Tridea Partners and today I'm going to show you how to reconcile AR or AP to the general ledger. In the financial module there is a routine called reconcile to GL that you can use to help reconcile your sub ledger to the general ledger at month end. What this routine does is it runs through all the transactions in the GL, compares it against the original transactions in the sub ledger and tries to match the GL transactions the sub ledger transactions. To perform this matching, GP will use the transaction source code, voucher number, the posting date, and the transaction amount. So once completed, GP will then generate an Excel spreadsheet that shows you the results of the routine. So let's run through this in some more detail. First, let's navigate to this routine. So I'm going to go over here and go to the financial module, and then I'm going to scroll down to routines and here under financial this is the routine I'm looking for reconcile to GL so here in this window I have a couple of fields and parameters that I can select first here where it says reconciliation this number here displays the number reconciliation that I'm currently on so for instance here it says 2 and that's because I've reconciled the payables management module to the payables account once already so now I'm currently on my second reconciliation and then here over at reconciliation date I can enter the date on which this reconciliation will occur for this example I'm going to use the end of February so I'm going to go here to my date selection window and I'm going to choose the end of February and then here under date range you can select the period for which you are performing this reconciliation so I'm going to choose the beginning of February until the end of February so that I can and then here under module, we actually have quite a few subledgers that we can perform this routine for. If you are on GP 2010, you will see a option for payables management or receivables management. But here in 2013, Microsoft has added the options inventory and bank reconciliation. So I'm going to go ahead and choose payables management. And then next I'm going to want to select the account that I'm reconciling this module to. So I'm going to go ahead and click on my lookup glass here and the account I want is this accounts payable account select that and then here I have the output file so I can select where I would like the Excel file to be saved on my computer and I'm just going to go ahead and save it to my desktop and you'll notice over here I have a view for the beginning and ending balance for my sub ledger the general ledger and then of course the difference between the two and these fields will populate once I process this reconciliation so now that I have everything entered in I'm gonna go ahead and process this so now it's spit out an Excel report for me and you'll notice that my transactions are separated into three sections into the unmatched transactions the potentially matched transactions and then the fully matched transactions the two sections you'll want to focus on when you're looking at this spreadsheet are the potentially matched transactions and then the unmatched transactions for example if I look at this first line here under the unmatched transactions I can see that I have a transaction for on the payable side but it does not have a corresponding transaction on the GL side so what I'd want to do is I want to take a look at this voucher number on the payable side and see if perhaps I had accidentally deleted the corresponding GL transaction or if it was just never posted so one thing to check would be to go into your GL batches and see if you have any unposted transactions originating from the payable side as far as the potentially matched transactions, if we take a look at this first line here in blue, you'll notice that the on account amount is in red. And so if we scroll over to the right, what that means is if we look at the amount that was debited for the corresponding journal entry, we'll see that there is a difference in the amounts. We have eighty dollars on this on the subledger side and then seventy eight forty on the other side. But if we look at both transactions, we'll notice that the transaction date matches the posting date in the subledger. So we have February fourth for both. And then if we take a look at the transaction source, so let me scroll over to the right you'll see that it's the exact same originating transaction source. Likewise, the voucher number matches the originating control number, so 234. 
the only difference is my amounts are differing. So these are some of the items to look for with this Excel spreadsheet. If you have items in red, those are the specific details that don't match on both sides. If you have fully unmatched transactions, oftentimes that means you're missing an entire transaction on the GL side or on the subledger side. For more tips and tricks, feel free to visit Tridea's online blog or contact us at the email both listed below. Thanks for listening.